Now, Mr. Boudreau, one of, one of the things that I think is remarkable about your career, uh, which has been uh, one of the longest uh, public careers in the state of Louisiana, uh, and you're, you're right here uh, in Terrebonne Parish and serving our people, so I'm very, I'm very proud of that. But when I th one of the things that uh, I think is remarkable about your career is that most politicians, most elected officials, uh, can't keep away from controversy. They seem to be always in the middle of controversial issues. Uh, there are a lot of uh, enemies, uh, and they take strong positions on things that can lead to them having a lot of enemies. You have obviously been able to stay out of that fray and stay out of much of the controversy that much of the, many of the elected officials find themselves in. How, do you, how did, have you been able to do so, and what do you credit that for? It's an interesting question, Mike. The, the way I would answer that is that the clerk's office by design is designed to, uh, to help people to 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 guide them to to to, to what has what they has what they have to have done. It's not a, an office that is a. It is more of a of a public servant than it is a politician. Even though you 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 are a politician because you have to get elected. There's no way to to get around that. You can say you're a public a a, a, a public servant and not a politician, but if you get elected, you're a politician. We, 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 we listen to our oath, and we, we try to uh, assist people, and we help everybody, no matter who they are. And I think that's the secret, service. Yeah. And, and I think people appreciate that. They, they understand it. They, 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 uh, if somebody's been around this long, and, and they, they they're able to stay out of controversy. It must mean that they've, they're dedicated to what they're doing with the help of the staff I just got through talking about. Now, you said that you help people provide, uh, and you provide a public service to all people no matter who they are. You uh, took office, however, at a time when, uh, when, there were, when that wasn't always the case. Do you remember when uh, certain races were uh, treated differently uh, in the public? Than, uh, than they are now, Mike. That might have that might have gone on, but it wasn't it wasn't a part of anything that we had anything to do with. We try to be autonomous as we can be, and if anybody is going to be uh, uh, treated differently, it's not going to be in the clerk's office. So the not so if I know about it. So see. the openness of the service has, has been, is a long-standing tradition of the clerk's well, office. Well, we like to think so. Every, everything is not perfect. We, after all, we're human beings, and sometimes we do things that uh, will maybe make somebody dissatisfied without even knowing. But we're, we're trying to help them. We're trying to serve them, and that's what the clerk's office is all about. Well, I think that's a great stopping point, Mr. Boudreaux. It's been a great, uh, it's been great talking to you. I've learned a lot about the clerk's office. And cl come back and stop by interview with Mike Billiot anytime. Thank you so much for being with us today. And I certainly hope that whoever, I certainly hope that you're going to stay around with us and, and in the clerk's office for many more years. But whoever does fill your shoes one day, there'll be some big shoes to fill. And I certainly hope that they see your office as a public service to the people as well. They're going to need people like you, Mike. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Boudreaux. Thank you for stopping by interview with Mike Billiot. Thank you. This has been Interview with Mike Billiot. Thanks for stopping by.